Hi, I'm Mrs. Paradowski. I'm a second grade ELAR teacher. Um, so first, I would like to thank you for taking your time to come and listen to us and hear what your student or child is going to be doing here at the school for the next nine weeks. I know that your time is valuable, so we appreciate you coming and or listening. So to get started, here are some things that we will be working on in ELAR or English Language Arts and Reading. This week, we have been practicing an important reading skill that helps us to become better readers. Um, so we have been learning to ask questions before, during, and after reading our books. The students are doing very well and are eager to jump in to answer any questions during their reading. We are working on getting the students to use text evidence in their stories to answer questions and what they already know about the story to help better comprehend what they are reading. This is called inferencing. We are working with multiple genres of books during this time, such as fiction and nonfiction books. One way to help your student at home would be asking questions when they are reading with when you are reading with your child, such as, is this story fiction or nonfiction, and how do you know? What do you think the author's purpose was in this um, was in writing this book to persuade, inform, or entertain the reader? Asking specific questions based on the story that you have read with your child so that they can go back in the story to find and prove their answer um, works very well. This is a strategy that we teach them to help them better comprehend their stories and to also help them when taking our grade level assessments. In English, we will be touching on these concepts, prepositions or prepositional phrases in sentences, such as the pumpkin is above the apple, above being the, um, the prepositional phrase in this sentence. They will need to be able to identify them and use them correctly in their own writing. We are learning the difference between common and proper nouns. A common noun is a generalized person, place, or thing, such as a store. The proper noun is the specific name of the person, place, or thing, such as Brookshire's. The proper nouns um, are the ones that should be capitalized. So that's a, a big thing that we look at too. We are also touching on synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms are words that mean the same thing, while antonyms are words that mean opposite. So an example of that would be hot and cold being opposite, cold and freezing being the same. The last concept is homographs, which are words that sound the same, but have different meanings such as see and see. So S-E-E, -E, I see something, or I'm going to swim in the sea, like ocean, S-E-A. Um, social studies this nine weeks will cover citizenship in ways that we can be a good citizen in our schools, our homes, and our communities. We'll be learning about the patriotic songs such as the Star Swingle Banner and America the Beautiful. It would benefit your child to work on these or sing them together at home. We will also begin looking at and learning about the parts of a map in the different parts of a globe. This will help the students to understand the concept of being a part of their community and build up to city, state, country, continent, and then the world or globe. The important things to please remember are check your students daily folders every single day and their weekly folder every week to look for grades, important information, or work that we are doing to help out at home. We send home a weekly update on Fridays to help give the scoop on what we will be doing for each subject um, the following week. If you have any further questions about the ELAR portion, please message your child's teacher and they will help to clarify anything that you have. Thank you again for listening and now I'm going to turn the video over to Mrs. Kramer for the math and science portion of this video. Hi, my name is Jennifer Kramer. I'm a second grade math and science teacher and I want to tell you about the things your child will be learning this nine weeks. First, we have already started learning how to add and subtract two and three digit numbers using flexible methods. These are alternative ways different than you or I even learned when we were in school. So far, the students have learned how to solve problems by drawing base 10 blocks and using the expanded form numbers. All of these are done without regrouping. Next, they will learn how to add and subtract numbers on an open number line using hundreds, tens, and ones jumps. This explanation will be sent home next week. The important things for you, the parents, to know is that your child will have to be able to work the problems the way that we are teaching them. Please don't teach them the traditional way. We'll learn how to do that after Christmas. For extra help, there is a website called mathplayground.com. Go to the thinking blocks and there will be problems set up for them to be able to do. 
Along with the strip diagrams, we will also be learning about 2D and 3D shapes. For 2D shapes, they're going to be learning the numbers of sides and corners. And for 3D shapes, they will be learning all the faces, edges, and vertices of the shapes. Another thing that we'll be learning this nine weeks is fractions. We will write the fractions in words only. They're not going to be learning about numerators and denominators, top numbers, bottom numbers until next year. The main things about fractions are that the parts are equal size, fractions can be larger than one whole, and the greater the number of parts of the whole, the smaller the size of the parts will be. Also, another thing that we've been doing all year is math facts. It's very important that you have your child practice these math facts at home each week because on Fridays they are graded. They have a test that they're graded on the math facts of the week. So any practice you can do at home will be greatly appreciated. If you ever have any questions, please contact your child's math teacher. We're here to help. We're here to answer any questions that we can possibly answer for you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Goodbye.